Hey, I'm Trinidad James. And I'm Spencer Shapiro. Today we're here talking about some of the top eyewear trends that you see on celebrities these days. Me and Spencer, we met through another mutual eye dealer by the name of Chris Smokes. Chris Smokes is from Detroit. Spencer's also from Detroit. I specialize in vintage Cartier, but I also have a lot of other brands like Gucci, Versace, limited edition Louis Vuitton. Just in general, all types of vintage eyewear from 70s until now. A lot of these frames you can't find in stores. It's kind of like buying a classic Rolex or, you know, old school Chevy, things like that. So that's where I come into play, finding those pieces that people want, but they can't get. Glasses for me and shades for me, they all have different meanings. Different points in my life, different parts of success, different money, it means a lot of different things. Like these 616, if I'm not mistaken, cause alls, these are the first glasses I ever wore in my all go everything video. These were like the first. Yeah, these glasses probably only go for probably about $400, $500, but there's no value on my first, it's like my first chain. These are my first shades that ever like got me into the game of glasses. One trend that you see a lot these days are like thick goggle-like frames, like big frames. ASAP Ferg, to ASAP Rocky, Lakeith Stanfield, Anderson Park. Of course, the OG, Spike Lee, all wearing big frames. As you can see, I'm definitely a fan of big frames. So I kind of look at these as like streetwear glasses. I don't really call them goggle. Like the orange ones are like new, new version of Versace. That's like the new stage of Versace. So you know, it's cute, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? It's like plastic, like just new plastic glasses, like you wear them as quick fashion. I would have, I don't really look at these as iconic. They're more of quick fashion to me. Certain ones are iconic, like if you go to the ASAP Rocky, you're not finding those nowhere. That particular color though, like I tell you, certain colors are very hard to find. Those glasses are awesome, of course. This is the red of that verb, but that blue, a problem. A complete problem. Lakeith Stanfield, those glasses, that particular style, that particular shape, so many brands make that shape from YSL all the way to Infinity LA. The Anderson Pack, same thing. Those glasses come in a million different colors. Sometimes you just want to walk into to Foot Locker or, you know, regular sneaker boutique, just grab something off the shelf that's, you know, affordable, fun. You don't always have to be wearing some crazy shoe out of Flight Club that's 10K, some wild collector's edition. So, you know, it's good to mix it up and have all different price ranges in your collection. It's like streetwear for glasses find the colors to match your outfit, or whatever, dark lens, you can't see my eyes. I'm having a time, I'm having a good time. Let's go, I like it. Well, as fashion continues, you look at a person like Lil Nas X, who's completely new. You know, he's the new, hottest thing on Earth, planet Earth right now. And he's rocking the color lens. You're looking at the year 2000, kind of come back around, like Fifth Element, or whatever, you know, where those wild, funky colors, people are wearing those. They're not scared of it. Pink is fine for a man to wear. And women don't just have to wear pink. You know, you can wear whatever color you want and it's a beautiful time because people are expressing themselves through eyewear, through color. And it's so great. Through people identifying through color, you get to see artists like Dev Hines, Matthew McConaughey, Lil Nas X, wear color frames and it's totally fine. Totally masculine. Nothing wrong with that. It's a different time. They might disappear or whatever in a few years, but right now they're here to stay. Okay, one example would be like Luca over here. You know, from the looks of it, he's just wearing some really simple aviators. If that was just a clear, clear tint or just black, you know, maybe you just walk by and wouldn't even second, you know, think of it twice. But that red, it really makes it special and it just, it elevates the frame, really elevates his whole look. It's all about having that variety and there's the right tints for the right moment. What I like to do, I like to cut extra sets of lenses for my personal frames. Some days I might feel like wearing blue, some days I might want clear. You know, other days I just want to go all black tinted out. Depends on your mood, your outfit. There's a lot of things you've got to match it to. Well, if you look at those pictures that Elton John had and he had orange lenses blue lenses like color and lens has always been a way for you to show who you are you know and you also see the world a little bit differently you know it's not like oh you see it clear and everybody else see a color the color that people see in you is the same color that you see in the world you know and blues have a different feel reds have a different feel all these different colors and tints have a different feel and a different outlook on the world when you look through those lenses 
aviators have been kind of getting more of a modern update. I've seen a lot of brands like Dior kind of removing the bridge and then they just keep the bar across the top. What that does for the face, it kind of elongates the nose and gives you kind of different feel. Continuing with what you're saying about offset and no bridge there, it's really interesting. I never paid attention to it does define more of your nose. Interesting also with these updated aviators, they're all dark compared to the aviators we looked at before. They had like a colored lens that let you in. These aviators are not letting you in. These are like cop aviators. Top Gun, Tom Cruise type, you know, uh, aviators where it's like, hey man, I'm, a, I'm cool, but I'm serious, and I might not want to be spoken to. So it's really interesting to see the difference in what a dark tint can do to an aviator or any pair of glasses compared to a color tint or a transitional tint. I love it. I mean, I, I could never go against that. It has a modern look, but it still goes back to its classic roots. So yeah, I approve of that for sure. And I'm just very selective with aviators. It's not my cup of tea, but once in a while, somebody will make a pair and I'm like, oh wow, these are good. I gotta get them. We're calling this the Matrix look. You know, it gives you that Keanu Reeves, Neo feel, and it's a serious look. It's small, you know, it's dark, and usually it gives you that look where, not necessarily asshole, but more of leave him alone, leave her alone. Really just it changes the whole look. Just an aggressive, badass look, and it's really, it's futuristic, but it also has ties back to the late 90s, early 2000s. You can see on the weekend, he has on a leather jacket. You can see Dev Hines, he has on a leather jacket. If you look at uh, Swiss Beats, he has a leather jacket. Certain eyewear brings out a certain energy in you. It's just, it's, you can't help it. It's a science to this. I know it might seem cliche, but these are three different pictures of three different artists, three different type of artists. They don't talk to each other, they don't hang with each other, or whatever, but they all have a leather jacket with these Matrix style glasses. Why is that? Because they feel like a badass. Once you find the eyewear that looks good on your face, it just, it takes over your body. Like It's like putting on a mask. If I take these off and put these off, I'm gonna talk different. If I take these off and put those off, I'm gonna talk different. Because it's a different person talking to you. And if you look at it, your same glass, even if not the same, they're very similar, so we're just gonna call it the same, right? Look at the demeanor. Same demeanor. Serious. You know what I'm saying? And these could be the nicest guys ever. But those glasses, when you put them on, they really, they erase your comfort zone. They erase you looking nice. Like there's just, there's something real serious about it. I appreciate it. When you see um, you know, people wearing icy glasses, not every pair is necessarily real diamonds. Some are rhinestones, Swarovski crystals, you know, little gems. That's cool too. It's all about your look. Now you're seeing a lot of big clunky glasses with crazy rhinestones. I mean, I think Anderson Pack has on these Celine glasses in that picture actually. These are not real diamonds. You know, these costume jewelry. You know, it, it looks good. And it's not like Quavo or Lil Wayne or Anza or Anderson Pack can't afford to wear real diamond glasses. It's just it's not that serious every time. Oh, it's not that serious. You know, and it's, it's a more beautiful thing of it is that 10 years ago or early 2000s, you might not have seen men wearing bedazzle big glasses like that. They were known to be feminine. So to see the times change and men finding their expression through these different shapes of glasses and stones and bedazzle this, bedazzle that, it's a better time. There is a pair of glasses for everyone. You just gotta get your mind open to wanting to try different things and not being pigeonholed to what you think doesn't work for you. Round frames are really have really become a big trend over the years. You can see a lot of people like Big Sean, for example, he's wearing the, the classic green uh, cabrolets. We got Masala Ali, an incredible actor. It's really good to see round glasses on a person like himself because Masala Ali is not an old man, not the youngest man. So to see his style come through on screen, on camera, and even with pictures like this is really dope. Cause those round glasses look good on him. Reading glasses as club glasses has always been a thing. You know, at the end of the day, if you find some glasses that make you look cute, wear those glasses. That's what I would tell you. It's always been a style, even from people wearing glasses where they pop out the lens and then just be clear. Everybody's not blessed to have 20-20 vision. So a lot of us need glasses. So some people cheated and put on glasses to, you know, give them the feel 
I'm looking glass. Sometimes people believe that glasses make them smarter. Killing it. Killing so it. Tom Ford's thugs always doing it right with the eyewear, no matter what. And that's another guy who's not afraid to push boundaries with fashion in general. I'm not really into the Brooklyn Beckham. He's an adult now. But I'm not, those work for him, but I, I wouldn't rock those. I wouldn't rock the Quest Love either, but they look good on him. You know, you, found, you find that shape that works for your face is good. These are the Chanel Pharrell's, or Pharrell Chanel's, however you want to word it. But they're based off of the glasses that Takeoff has on, the original Chanel Paris ones that I definitely wanted back in the day, and I still don't have. Pharrell's one of the first people I ever seen wearing the original Chanel Paris sunglasses. They only made them in white and black in the beginning, but now with this particular style, you have uh, green, black, red, blue, yellow. The original ones you can't find in stores at all, so you'd have to go through, you know, vintage eyewear dealer to find them. Those have been rising in price like crazy, sometimes up to as high as 2K. The Chanel Pharrell was around 750 in stores, but same thing, those sold out within days, and now they're reselling for way higher. One style that has kind of been all over, and I've had to pay attention to it because I don't have probably any glasses like it, is the extra skinny look. A prime and perfect example of it is Lil Nas X again. To me, that's kind of like a, a 90s look, like a real 90s Mary J. Blige, that type of look, which I appreciate, but I, I don't rock because I have a big face and big eyes. And so it doesn't work for me. It works for some of those guys, but for me, I, I could never pull it off. This trend is a phase. I mean, if it, if it ends up not being a phase, well then prove me, prove me different, prove it. Prove it, but this is a phase. I mean, the reason why I say it's a phase is because I personally feel people would like wearing glasses that cover their eyes more than glasses that show so much of their eye. Tiny glasses look great on who they look great on, but they're not very conventional. So uh, everyone looking at this segment, it's very important for you to understand the size of your face. Understand what glasses actually fit you. You know, a lot of people get frustrated and a lot of people feel that, oh, glasses are not for me. I don't have a face for glasses. But you definitely have a face for glasses. Like there's a pair of glasses for every face, just like there's a song for every person. In order to understand what glasses you need to wear, I think that Spencer, you could help us out. Like a fun fact that I didn't know he had to help me out of how to identify what size these glasses are and what size is with your face. Every frame has a unique set of numbers that can help you identify the size. So for example, this is the Cartier Malmason. The numbers for the lens and the bridge would be on the inside right here. So this, for example, is a 5619. So that's 56 across here in millimeters, 19 millimeters across the bridge. On the inside, it's a 135, so that's the arm length. So some are longer, some are shorter, depending on um, how your ears are. For example, on a wire frame, wire or plastic frame, that can be extended and bent out by your optician. So anywhere around here can be adjusted. They um, put in a special machine and heat it up, and then it usually takes five minutes at the most. All my glasses speak to me in a, like almost a personal way, in a spiritual way, because I just, they make me feel so good, or whatever, and that allows me to bring out different emotions. It allows me that when I feel bougie, and I feel like I don't want, yeah, you put your hater blockers on, I put on these Celines, you know, you can get out my face. And I don't even see you, I don't even feel you no more. My energy is different, you know? So all the, all the shades, you know, even when I put on these Stella McCartney's, which are, is a newer pair for me, I look at these, like when I put these on, you're like, oh, who is that? You know what I'm saying? Maybe I want attention. 